today God said, can you trust me when you don't see it? You know, I remember back um, earlier, you know, when studying and reading the word, you know, I used to pray for people. Um, and, you know, God was building a spiritual character through me as well. You know, God would tell me to say something. I would say it, you know, and I had faith. But after that, I would go back to God like, Lord, <laughs> you got to do this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Lord, you told me to say this. Um, but, you know, God was maturing me that I had to trust to know that when God told me to tell these people, you know, what he told me to tell them, that he would do it, you know, and not come back to him and just be like, hey, Lord, like, look, you said this. But, you know, now I just trust God. And that's why I say, Lord, have your will. You know, even when like praying over people and, you know, to get people healed, you know, God showed me there's a few different ways. Um, God can heal them instantly. Or in the scripture, it does say the the uh, sick shall recover. So you know they can um, the healing process begins and they recover over time. You know, and it's not just instant or anything like that. But you know, God was just uh, building spiritual character in me. But today it says, God said, "Can you trust me when you don't see it?" Um, we don't have to see it to know that God's going to do it. You know, we always know that. You know, he may not come when we want, but he's right on time. And God said he'll take care of you. Colossians 3 and 15. It says, And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which, to that which also ye are called in one, in one body, and be ye thankful. So what is God saying? If, if God said he was going to do something, know that he's going to do it, and then be thankful. So we don't have to, you know, put our trust in you know, the world, but put our trust in him and also give thanks and everything, you know, so even, you know, before we get it or before, you know, after we pray, we should just be thankful and just tell God thanks. John 14 and 27, it says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. So God already knows that if we ask him for something and then we put our peace in that, we're not going to be happy. That's why I said, do not let your hearts be troubled. So just to give you an example. So let's say that, um, you know, you are, um, you know, uh, God is going to bless you with a vehicle. So you are walking or anything like that. And all of a sudden, um, you know, like water splashes on you. Somebody riding past water splashes on you. Like, oh my goodness, you know, and you're like, am I ever going to get a ride? Or, you know, you missed the bus or something like that. Or you may already have a vehicle and, you know, it's always breaking down and God's going to give you a new one. God said, do not put your trust in that, but just know that, you know, you put your trust in him and God is going to take care of that. And I remember when, uh, you know, I had a, a van and, you know, it just kept breaking down, you know, and it was times my mom was just like, you know, oh, well, you know, your income tax is coming, you know, you can just get it fixed, you know, this, that, and the other. And God was showing me that, uh it was time to get rid of it, you know, and then once I got rid of it, um, cause it was just, you know, it was going to cost too much to just get fixed. And it was just time cause God wanted to give me something else. But, you know, I put my trust in him and not in the van. And when God gave me something else, I saw what he was doing. So he was allowing the things to happen so that I can get rid of that vehicle. <laughs> but Philippians four and seven, it says the peace and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding. That's all our understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. That one is big. That one is powerful. So what that is saying is, is that God said you can have peace and just you can have the peace that passes all understanding. So all our understanding, all human knowledge, um, to have the peace that passes all understanding, to know that, you know, God is going to do what he said do. You know, again, it might not come when we want it, but it'll come right on time. You know, God is never late. Numbers 23 and 19 God is not human that he should lie if God said he's going to do it he's going to do it not like a human being that he should change his mind does he speak and then not act does he promise and not fulfill Titus 1 and 2 in the hope of eternal life which God who does not lie promised before the beginning of time so think about it even though if you pray for something even if it's uh, you know um, getting employment or whatever you know, God is going to do it. I remember when God told me to go back to college um, and, you know, they had they did a statistics of, oh, you know, if you leave college, it's a 60 percent chance that you won't ever come back. 
you know, and I left college and then came back and he was like, oh, the statistics are higher. It's a 40% chance that you'll never come back, you know. And then the, the last time, you know, God was like, I want you to go back and finish your degree, you know. So going through that, you know, um, and getting my degree and I was one class away from graduating. So I was finishing this class and um, this professor, um, you know, it was like kind of like a little mix up or whatever like that about a paper being turned in that was turned in on time. Um, and so they was like, oh, the only way you're going to graduate is if you come back the following year. And so, you know, I was just like, okay, God, um, you told me to go back to college, you know, and I did the right thing. You know, I was playing um, football at the time in college, and I had to forego my senior year of college ball uh, when I came back, you know, to in order to finish my degree, what God told me to do. So, you know, upon that, you know, um, I had to switch my major. Yeah, which is, you know, not a... Uh, not always enjoyable, but I had to switch my major, you know, and this was about uh, about like uh, a month, probably before I graduated, um, to go ahead and do that. Um, and so I ended up having to take a summer class to make up that that uh, that class. But God took care of that, you know, and then they said when we graduate that um, 1.3 million people was my competition. Um, and then they were, uh, you know, the professor said that, you know, well, you know, the degree that you're going to have, it's not going to look as polished or whatever he was trying to say, you know, being in a different department, but I'm not worried about it. God, God already took care of that. You know, God already knew this before the situation even happened. And then after reassurance of me turning my paper in, when the professor said I didn't, God showed me where I did and the, where, where it was confirmed. But I'm not even worried about it. You know, that was just something that you deal with. And God said, you know, pray for those who despitefully use you. And the thing was, I mean, long story short, between me and a professor, you know, um, you know, we had some similarities, you know, uh, you know, we definitely was, uh, you know, like I had children by my kid's mom. He had, you know, a child or whatever. He was divorced or whatever. And he expected me to be mad at her. And I said, no, nah, that's not how I live my life. That's not how God want me to. To, to, to be mad at her. I said, we just have differences. I said, but we co-parent well. And that's something that he couldn't realize. And even, you know, I had to pray for him. You know, I had to pray for his son, you know. Um, you know, his son was, was was on drugs, you know. And he felt like, you know, it was the mom's fault or whatever like that. And, you know, even through all that, you know, God said, pray for him. You know, pray for his child, you know. And I did, you know, and I did. And like I said, since then, God has been taking care of me. You know, like he told me to go back and he did it. I didn't put my peace in that degree. I didn't put my peace in that class. I didn't put my peace in that professor, you know, and I didn't put my um, peace in that department. You know, even though I went to the head of that department, you know, to try to, you know, get things taken care of. And don't get me wrong. You know, the guy that I went to, very, you know, very good man. He didn't do anything really to, to keep me in that department, you know, which is fine. But I didn't put my peace in him, you know. All through all that, God said, I'll take care of it. And God did. You know, when God said, do what you can do and I'll do the rest, when he said the battle was not yours. So I did what I could. God did the rest. Like I said, I did the honorable thing. You know, um, I even asked the professor, you know, before I went to a different department, I said, listen, I'll do three papers um, of the equivalent of one paper. And if I don't pass, you can fail me. He said, no, you just got to come back the following year. And I was like, you know what? God already took care of it. And even through that, I just said, Lord, I thank you, you know, and when you trust God, you know, you got to keep your peace in him. And that's where I kept my peace. You know, I didn't keep my peace in this world didn't keep my peace in no person. I kept my peace in him and God took care of it. You know, um, again, my competition was one point three million. You know, I ended up, you know, working for Verizon Wireless and I made uh, sixty five thousand. And my degree, you're only supposed to make about twenty five to thirty starting out. And after you've been there so many years, you can get up to 40,000. And, but again, you know, God took care of that, you know, um, and God has taken me, um, to some different paths and I trust him. So I just wanted to let you know that God said that, can you trust me when you don't see it? All I'm saying is just trust him. I mean, he knows the future. All right. Love y'all. God bless.